welcome to another video we want to import the Pantone chair cut data within Katia as editable so we can also change around the shape of the chair if you're not that familiar with Pantone chair I will put a video over here at the top where I discuss why is Pantone chair considered to be an iconic design and also some aspects regarding AI attempt at recreating this design so to get started I will download the FBX from their website we're gonna see that this will be the archive I will have that unzipped and since we want to add it to Katia v5 imagine and shape we need to have the file format converted to an obj file that means that we're gonna make use of blender to do that so go up to file import fbx downloads and we're gonna see this is the file that was downloaded and we're gonna have this imported we're gonna see that by default the fbx will be imported at the true scale over here within blender we know that because if you're gonna go to measure and i'm gonna enable snapping the default cube in blender has two meters and we're gonna see that the fbx will be around uh, 80 millimeters we can also check their dimensions directly on their website and you're going to see that the panton chair has the height of 830 millimeters so we know that blender managed to import the fbx correctly but let's see if we're going to have that model exported now so I'm just going to delete the default cube and I will select the mesh of the of the chair. With that selected, I will go to file, export, and we need to convert this to an OBJ legacy model in order to have it as Atable in Katia. And I will go on my desktop and I will call this chair and I will only want to selection only. So I just want to transfer this model. We're going to have the scale over here. We're going to see that this will be set to one initially. And now in Katia, if I will go to shape, imagine and shape, I will go to import subdivision. And we're going to see that the chair created is this file. So I'm just going to rapidly check. We see the time. So this is the file created now. And we're going to have that model imported and just as we loaded in we saw how Katia did um, a zoom in in order to go to our model so if I'm going to attempt to measure this model so I will press escape in order to have that model loaded if I'm going to go to the measuring we can do that most easily within let's say generative shape design or part design and just um, draw a line but we can do it differently so this is let's say the traditional way to measure elements but keep in mind that within imagine and shape we have the possibility to see the dimensions so we see this is the height of the model but there's a better way by just remaining within the imagine and shape workbench so after we have the file imported i'm just gonna select the subdivision which is called one i'm gonna press space and i will go over here to all element selection and afterwards if you're gonna go into affinity these are the values so we already see them within the viewport and if you want to change them we can go over here to edition and we're gonna see that Archer transferred as an OBJ was imported within Katia at, um, at a smaller scale. So we can just multiply by 1000. So I'm going to go within each parameter for X, Y, and Z. And I'm just going to multiply those by a thousand. At the end, I'm going to press OK. And now we're going to have the model loaded at the correct scale. 
also my recent video is regarding this so why um, we need to adjust the scaling in order to have the true scale you can also check that video i will put a link over here at the top we see that now katia is a little bit struggling on the z-axis to scale the model and this is because the geometry of the model is quite complex even though this is a simple model if i'm gonna go to wireframe we're gonna see the mesh that will define this we we'll have quite a lot of vertices so katia has managed to have that imported and now we're gonna see that we have the model loaded within imagine shape and now we can further change the design so i'm gonna select it i'm gonna press f4 and i will go to the left view for example and now if i will select let's say the points at the top so something like this i have the possibility to either translate those or have them rotated just as the design change is intended but as we can see katia is struggling to process this so this subdivision is quite heavy for imagine a shape workflow and um, that's why i'm going to create a new video that will address this part so how we can do a remesh in this case so we see that a slight translation will put the the software into a not responding state and we just slowly recover from that and this is because there are a high amount of points the same will happen to to a rotation so i am able to change this and at the end if i will um, press space by in order to close the tool palette and the changes we're gonna have the model change but as you can see this is not that uh, great so katia struggles but we managed to have that shape at the top translated and also rotated to change that okay so i will create another video where i'm gonna address the remeshing problem of the chair over here so we are gonna change the wireframe the vertices position and distribution on the surface and afterwards we're gonna have that re-exported as an obj and added again to imagine a shape so i hope you find this content useful if so, I will position another similar video over here to the left and also a subscribe button to the right. Please consider to subscribe if you enjoy this content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.